back to the busy baby and then the second part of the build of the chest of drawers or bureau or my boy, whatever the hell you want to call it. Anyway, as you can see, I already went ahead and cut all the drawer fronts. I got most of the routering done for the boxes, for the drawers, and uh, we're going to dive right into it. The method I prefer for doing drawer boxes is using a sliding dovetail for a bunch of different reasons. It's simple, very little setup, strong, and the list goes on and on. Alright, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so here we have uh, two sides, or sorry, the front and the back, and the two sides. The drawer's only 15 inches deep. Uh, sliding dovetail consists nothing of a, a dovetail, male, and the dovetail female. The dovetail slides right down in the pocket. Tight, strong join. It makes for a perfectly square box and you can't beat it. Like I said, the uh, router setup, you set your depth and your height once and that'll make the whole drawer. It's awesome. Uh, let's go put all these drawers together. So the only thing I got left to router on these now is uh, the date off for the bottom. Alright, so all the routering is complete. It's time for uh, glue up and assembly. Put a bit of glue on each male dovetail. And we're going to hold it together with a few pin nails. See how this goes. Most of the glue gets squeezed out in the slide. it. Each side. All right, now we'll slide in the bottom. There we have it. The back is down in. A few pin nails to hold that in. A few pin nails for the bottom. You get yourself one super strong drawer. Alright, so we're making some coal to uh, make some custom legs. Now, where I get the table saw and the blade and this diagonal fence set up it gives me the effect this step here but if you adjust this fence either way you can adjust the width of the cove alright so here's our cove in that piece of wood we just saw with the table saw it's pretty rough it got to be sanded but the reason I'm doing it is for a set of legs you make a put a couple simple 45 cuts you, uh, you make yourself a really nice set of legs here we are, we got that cove, 245 cuts, and you got a self a really nice leg. There's no name, I don't know what type of leg you call this, I don't know, it's something I've been doing a while. Yeah, so there you have it. We'll two of these out front, and just a half one in the back. Okay, so I went ahead and installed the bottom skirt, and put those fancy legs on there looks good I must say really hard to see you know it's one of those details that are there and nobody's really going to pay any attention to but all right so all we got left now is uh, put the top on and 
Finish a bit of trim around that. And then we got a shitload of sanding and staining and finishing. Yeah. Uh, don't hate me for doing this. I know some of you are probably are, but that's it to each his own, I guess. Uh, I'm using a a varathane stain. It's called Espresso. It's a nice dark finish. The clear goes on this now. It's going to look great. I lied to you, this wasn't an easy project by any stretch of imagination. But uh, I'd say all together, total whew, uh, four full days at least. Now you gotta remember now, I started with all the rough lumber. I mean, I had to dress everything and you know, start from scratch, you know, pretty well from the tree to the what you see here. Yeah, uh, that's all birch I milled myself, by the way. It's beautiful stuff. All right, so that one's done. So, on to the next project. I got to build a double one just like it. <laughs> all right, same as always, everyone. Loved having you. And don't forget, take it easy.